So the question is, does the world have your heart? Hallelujah. Does Jesus have your heart or, or does the world have your heart? Hallelujah. Be honest with yourself. Don't deceive yourself. The Bible says, be doers of the word, not hearers only, deceiving yourself. Hallelujah. Don't deceive yourself. Be honest with yourself. Does the world have your heart? Do you have a filthy cussing mouth? Are you drinking the alcohol? Is your heart lukewarm? Hallelujah. Is your heart hot for Jesus? Are you smoking the vape machine? Are you smoking weed? Are you saying that you believe in God and you're practicing sexual sin? Hallelujah. Because if that is the case, you are deceiving yourself. Hallelujah. You are in self-deception and you need to repent. You need to get real with God. This is what God is saying. It's time to get real with Jesus. The end times are coming upon us. And if you're not living holy, you will not have a holy love in your heart that will give you the strength to endure. Hallelujah. Men's hearts are growing cold right now. And people, you have to live holy. People, you have to be committed to the kingdom of God. You have to have a committed heart to Jesus. You can't just say, oh, I believe and play the Christian part, play church with God and think that you're going to be able to endure with the Lord. No, hallelujah. False Christians, fake Christians, they don't endure to the end. Hallelujah. If you're not living committed to God, if you're not living faithful to Jesus, you won't endure to the end. Hallelujah. You're just going to live in self-deception and, and you're going to go to hell. Hallelujah. You're going to go to hell. You need to repent and get right with God. Get on fire for Jesus. Forsake this wicked world. Hallelujah. Forsake the wickedness of this world. Do not love the world. The Bible says, come out from amongst them and be separate, saith the Lord, and he will receive you. Hallelujah. Stop listening to that wicked cussing music. Stop going around those wicked old worldly friends if you're trying to live for Jesus. The Bible says, do not be deceived. Bad companions make a good person bad. Hallelujah. You think you're going to keep going around those old worldly friends and, and you're just going to walk with Jesus? You're deceived. They're going to rub off on you. Hallelujah. You're going to go into temptation. Hallelujah. Your love in your heart is going to be quenched. It's going to get squeezed out. Hallelujah, because you're not obeying Jesus. You're not obeying God. Hallelujah. God gives us his word so that we can stay in the safe zone. Hallelujah. I preached that once before. God's word is like the stop sign. It warns us. It keeps us in the safe zone. If a car doesn't obey the stop sign and he goes across that stop sign without stopping, hallelujah, he's going to get in a car crash. The stop sign is there to keep the car in the safe zone. And this is how God's word is. This is why we have to obey the Lord. Hallelujah. This is why we have to obey the Lord's instructions so that we keep our, hot, our heart burning hot for Jesus. We don't go into sin because sin is like throwing dirt on a fire. Hallelujah. Sin is like throwing dirt on the fire and you won't have God's love in your heart. Hallelujah. You won't have a, a love for God burning in your heart if you're practicing sin because you're throwing dirt on the fire. Go make a fire. Hallelujah. Go make a fire and throw dirt on it and see what's going to happen. It's going to go out. Hallelujah. We have to be faithful to Jesus. Hallelujah. If you are lukewarm, you need to repent. If you 
have went lukewarm and you straddle in the fence, you need to get off the fence because the fence belongs to the devil. You need to open up your eyes and see that we are moving in to the end times. Hallelujah. I mean, you need to discern what's going on in the world. You need to establish yourself in Jesus. Do you want to go to hell for all of eternity? Hallelujah. Do you want to burn in fire? Hallelujah. Do you want to burn in unquenchable fire? Is that sin worth it? Hmm? Hallelujah. Is the sexual sin worth it? Is the drunkenness worth it? Hallelujah. Is the weed bag worth it? Hallelujah. Huh? Do you want to live in sin and, and, and burn in unquenchable fire? God wants you in eternity. But you have to work out your salvation with fear and trembling. That's what the Bible says. Hallelujah. That means you order your conduct after the instruction of God's word. Hallelujah. You humble yourself. God gives grace to the humble. But he will resist the proud. The proud are self-sufficient. The proud go their own way. They're not committed to the kingdom. The proud, they do their own thing. They don't listen to God. The proud is rebellious and hard. And if you're going to be prideful, if you're going to straddle the fence, God is going to resist you and you're going to go to hell. Hallelujah. So this is a warning to someone. You know who you are. Repent and get right with Jesus. The clock is running out of time. You don't have a long time here. Your life is precious. Your life is valuable to the Lord. Jesus shed his blood for you. The devil wants you to go to hell. Jesus wants you to go to heaven. Hallelujah. But what are you going to do? Hallelujah. Are you going to do something? You got to do something. Get real with Jesus. This is the word today. The word today is get real with Jesus. Get right with God. Stop being a fake Christian, stop with all the fake and phony repentance and come to God with godly sorrow. Come to God with godly sorrow and commit your heart to Jesus. Hallelujah. Forsake this wicked world and live for the Lord because time is running out. Hallelujah. Be blessed today. In Jesus' mighty name.